Can you just describe the added adrenaline you might have had this evening coming in in that situation? <laughs> Plenty of it, honestly, especially at the end, you know, seeing the ball go in the glove. That was a pretty, pretty special moment, so just uh, try my best to keep it simple and kind of go one pitch at a time and, um, you know, uh, stay ahead of the guys and, and you know, let the defense play. But I'm um, obviously really happy to happy to get that opportunity. Obviously got in a, a little bit of trouble with some base runners there. Anthony Rizzo came over to you on the mound and, and spoke to you a little bit. What did he say to you and how did that help you out there? He said, you good? Like, make sure I'm good and everything. And he said, hey, enjoy the moment. And I thought that was pretty special to kind of hear that from him. And, you know, I did. I kind of took it in after the end and, and obviously want to stay in the moment. But um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool opportunity. Yankees, Red Sox, kind of first one here. So um, really, uh, really special to hear that from him. How does uh, Cubs Cardinals compare to Yankees Red Sox? Uh, I mean, they're comparable for sure, but this is obviously, you know, it's probably the best rivalry in baseball. So it's, you know, it's special to pitch in those games. It's special to pitch in these games, obviously, uh, the season we're having right now. And, and uh, like I said, just, you know, really honored to be put in that spot and, and come through for the guys and get a nice team win. Scott, what did you think of that play Trevino made? That was unbelievable. I thought I kind of ran right by him. I thought he was going to try to go to three, and I felt bad because I thrown the ball right in my head. But uh, that was that was sick, and I thought that was the only probably the only chance we had because I, I don't know if I would have been able to get to it and pick it. So he just kind of came up so quick and fired to first. So um, really, or to second rather, and you know, really huge out at the time to kind of get two outs versus uh, you know um, having the bases loaded right there. How much of an idea did you have that you might get this chance tonight? That you might get a second opportunity. Uh, yeah, I knew I was up tonight, and you know I'll take the ball whenever they ask me to. Um, they called down, um, you know, had me getting ready in the eighth, and and you know um, figured I had the figured I had the ninth once I got up. So um, just uh, wanted to go out there and do my job, and and like I said, get ahead of guys, be competitive, and um, let my defense work. So um, just try to do the same thing I've been doing. You've pitched in high leverage situations. Does the ninth feel dramatically different? <clears throat> Sixth, seventh, eighth. Yeah, I think it does. Obviously, those are the, you know, as bullpen people, as bullpen guys, we like to say those are the hardest three outs to get in baseball, especially on the road and um, especially, you know, kind of wanting to get a team win like this. Um, and, yeah, I, I think I think so. But um, having having done it a little bit in Chicago and, and being able to experience those <laughs> situations already here, um, extra inning ball games and everything, kind of, you know, feel more and more comfortable each time you go out there. So um, really just try to approach it the same. Felt, felt good, felt competitive with everything. And, um, um, just try to go out there and do my job. Slow yourself down in such a difficult, you know, high stress, high leverage situation. Do what do you do for slow yourself? Down. To slow yourself down. What do you do? <clears throat> I like to, you know, step off the mound and kind of regather my thoughts and just remember to go one pitch at a time. Try to keep it simple. Um, and uh, obviously, like I said, the, the added adrenaline kind of is baked in there, so um, you have to do a really good job of kind of staying on top of your emotions. But um, for me, I, I, you know, I kind of try to ride the emotion a little bit and kind of stay aggressive and let it, let it feed off it. But at the end of the day, you also have to slow yourself down and take a breath and, like I said, just go one pitch at a time.